can't just be like, oh yeah, my king gonna come, but I'm just gonna stay the same, like, no. Ever since the day I seen you, I needed you by my side. Hey, my fools, welcome back to my channel. So, I wanted to talk about something that is kind of special to me, my husband. <laughs> if you know me, if you follow me like on social media, you know that I'm like low-key obsessed with my husband. I don't want to say obsessed, but I'm in love with my husband, okay? Like, so I wanted to share how I feel God brought him into my life or like God really said that's him like he's the one and I know that so many people talk about this and share stories and some people are like I don't know if that's the truth that's really how it is but let me tell you it's for real for real okay so I know so many women want to have a husband and you want him to be like the husband that God has designed for you and sometimes it's hard to listen it's hard to hear God speaks to you it's hard to realize when he's saying yeah that's the one no matter how good a person is sometimes you just never really know I always knew that I wanted to be married but I didn't put like a huge emphasis on it it wasn't really like I just have to be married like it just has to happen I I don't know what I'm gonna do like my whole life purpose is to be married whenever I got to college and I started connecting with other people you know it's like okay I, I I enjoy this person this is a great person but not really in a sense of like yeah this could be my husband and it's not like the people were bad it's just that those were not the people that were destined for me it took me some time to realize that because I will be honest with you that a couple of times I was with people and I was like in my head yeah he's the one this is gonna work like I'm gonna marry him but I was going more with what I thought and less with like what God thought the last guy before I met my husband I thought that that was gonna work out and things didn't work out and it was so much drama and so much negativity there so I was just so broken after that that I was just like I'm done I need to focus on school I was just like uh-uh I need to change things up. I haven't been spending time with Christ. You know, my relationship with Christ had like literally dwindled. And I'm not blaming that on anyone else. That's on me. And I was talking to myself, okay, and talking to my homegirls and asking them what they thought. Not really talking to God. After that situation, and I finally came to the clear understanding that that was not going to work out and I needed to move on. So, like, you know what, God, I want you to take control. And I just started writing to God constantly i kept praying to god and i was just like god i just want you to help me be okay with being with myself because i was used to like being in a relationship with a person so if i was with somebody and then it didn't work out i would like quickly bounce back with somebody else even if i wasn't with them like we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend i at least had somebody i was never really by myself i don't know if it was maybe being afraid of being alone or what or just needing somebody but I always was just like I just want to have someone it was like a pattern and I just got tired of that I got tired of doing things my way because it wasn't working out I always ended up being heartbroken and hurt and you know listening to Jasmine Sullivan and, <laughs> and so when I began writing to God reading the Bible more and praying more and like really spending time with Christ like everything kind of changed for me my mindset changed the way I looked at guys changed my needs changed my desires changed and everything and even what I wanted in a guy changed I I remember having a paper that I wrote down like about the guy that I would want you know the guy that I wanted God to bring me and everything was like superficial all this stuff that had nothing to do with nothing and when I started changing I started writing things that actually made sense. You know, I wanted a person who was smart, intelligent, who loved their mother, and who believed in God and, and actually had their own relationship with God. Someone who's respectful, still tall and handsome. I wanted a black guy. It's nothing against any other race. That's just what I, my preference. And I just was praying on it. And after my, my, my journal inserts, like it's so crazy. If you follow me on Twitter, if not, you can go there but if you go to my twitter and you go back to tweets i would put pound ykwc and i would write that even in my journals i would write that randomly and leave it around my room and everything and it means your king will come i that's something that i've been doing for years that no one else even knew but i would write pound ykwc after everything 
like posts that I would write on Facebook, Twitter. This is all before I met Philip. I just believed it. I believed it. I kept writing it. I was like, I know. I trust you, God. I know that you're gonna deliver. But I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm, it, I'm not saying it in a sense of like he's gonna come tomorrow or today or, you know, in a month. I, I, I wasn't worried about a time. I just knew that he was gonna come before meeting philip i made a decision that i was not gonna date anyone i just needed some time off from dating people i was gonna focus just on myself and my relationship with god i wanted to have at least six months to a year of just no contact with with men in that way that didn't really happen <laughs> so i came up with i came to that decision after fourth of july weekend of 2009. why fourth of july weekend I'm not even gonna go into that. You know what? Since we're being transparent and honest, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So that 4th of July weekend was a weekend that that guy that I've been dealing with came to visit me. Yeah, it was just all bad, all wrong. And I really realized this is not going anywhere. This is just a superficial relationship. So after that, I was like, nope. God, I'm focusing on you and that's it. So I said, six months to a year, I'm just straight up me and Jesus. I said all this in July, 4th of July weekend. Fast forward to August 2009, go back to school, and that's when I end up meeting my now husband. At the time, he, he was he was just a guy, okay? Real skinny, wearing too big of clothes and everything. It was so crazy. The, the very first time that I actually saw him on campus, I called my mom up immediately, and I was like, mom i found the man of my dreams and she's like girl get off this phone and go to class <laughs> like i'm telling you i saw phil like it's crazy he has a different story and he was coming from like the engineering building or something and so we're like walking across the street at this time we had like been talking like on facebook so we had never met in person but this was my first time actually seeing him so i'm like wait that kind of looked like the guy that i you know talk to I like took a double take and he took a double take too like it was like there were other people definitely walking too because this is like in between classes as we're crossing the street he trips because <laughs> he's like taking a double take looking at me and I'm taking a double take looking at him so as I'm like walking we didn't like say hey or anything I don't even think we waved at each other I think it was just like that's you you from Facebook so I picked up the phone immediately talking to my mom about it whatever and it's just like so crazy because then after that I just kept seeing him around campus like kept seeing him kept seeing him and so after that I'm like you know what maybe we should actually like kick it and hang out and we did we started hanging out and we literally saw each other like every single day whenever he first asked me to be his girlfriend I turned him down because I made a decision with God okay I told God like no I it's just me and you a Jesus it's me and you like that's it no no one else but at the same time I did write your king will come and I was asking God to you know bring the right person in my life so I was like maybe he's bringing the person I I didn't know but I decided to take a chance so some time later I decided to tell him yeah okay let's give it a try and even throughout the relationship I'm not gonna say that I was just like um you know 100% sure I knew inside that he was but my human nature and myself you know I was like trying to throw things in there to say like this isn't gonna work out it's not gonna happen it's gonna be the same situation as my previous situation but it was like it was just gonna work out <laughs> you know we were kids still you know as we were dating and growing up and so you know things change or desires change or wants change and needs change and all of that eventually you know we broke up we broke up a couple times but it was like for a day and then we got back together or whatever. But one time in particular, we broke up and I was just like, I'm done. Like, I can't do this. This is not working. I thought this was going to work out. I thought this was going to be it. I'm a fool for telling my mom that he was going to be the one because he's not, you know, this. No. So I ended up breaking up with him. I had like just finished a semester of nursing school and I think it was the semester before my last semester of nursing school and I knew I was going to be graduating so I was like you know what I got to get myself together I had so much going on so I was just like this isn't working out I need to just cut this right now because he had just graduated we were still together when he after he graduated I already had a plan okay when he graduated I had a plan that I was going to break it off I did it was just so hard in that time not being together 
but it was like for the best because it gave us time to grow separately. I guess to fix things within ourselves before coming back together, even though we didn't think that we would. The craziest thing is 4th of July weekend, we went out to eat. That This was the first time that we were back talking to each other. Like talking is in a sense of like communicating. We just went, we were just talking. We were just kind of catching up. It was so awkward, it was so weird, but it was 4th of July weekend. Like this is so crazy y'all. So I made a decision with God 4th of July, 2009. I made a decision that it was just gonna be me and Jesus. God would fill. And then we broke up. So 4th of July, I don't remember the year, but 4th of July weekend, we start back communicating and talking to each other. Well, he was gonna be leaving to, I believe it was like for an interview, for for a job, for, for like for his career. And ultimately like it was pretty much set in stone. So he was gonna be moving. I, I wanna say it was supposed to be Cleveland. So after that, I was just like, you know, maybe it's not gonna work out between us. But the craziest thing is, he ended up like turning down that position and he went for another position it, it was just so many things y'all like i wish that he was here with me so that we could talk about it together but we ended up getting back together but slowly we didn't tell other people we ended up meeting in houston it, yeah it was for christmas so i drove down to houston to meet him and i, I think i told my, my mom that i was going with like amber amber's my best friend so i think i told her that i was going to be with amber out there or whatever i told her i was going to houston but i didn't tell her who i was going to see i went out there just for a day and we stayed and just kind of like kind of got like rekindled we got back together we've been talking from fourth of july up until christmas like kind of starting back over starting over getting to know each other get back in each other's good graces we had grown tremendously in the time that we were apart um and so he was going to be he had already moved he started working in St. Louis. So he was gonna be in Lake Charles for Christmas. Like instead of him flying to Lake Charles because it's super expensive, he flew to Houston so that we could see each other. The craziest thing is the first time that we said I love you was Christmas Eve. <laughs> so we ended up seeing each other christmas eve in houston when we got back together we got back together at christmas eve and after that we just continued to talk and i went out to visit him in st louis he was coming to dallas and then we ended up going to vegas july that following year and he ended up proposing to me <laughs> so it was just so much so many things and in that time i continuously remained like having that connection with, with god and, and talking to the lord and praying and asking god for his guidance and you know whatever he saw fit i wanted to follow him i wanted my relationship to be blessed i wanted my marriage potentially to be blessed with whoever it would be and so i just wanted to focus on the lord so i wrote these 30-day devotionals and that's really what kind of solidified things for me and after that i was like you know what i'm done playing games i'm done doing all this other stuff trying to talk to all these other people like god i trust you i'm listening i hear you what you have for my life i'm going with it and so i guess that's the thing for me what I want to stress to women is to just stay, stay faithful and believe what God says and know that not every single person that you talk to is meant to be your husband and be okay with that. Like when it doesn't work out, be like, you know what? Okay, thank you. Because this pushes me closer to the person that I'm supposed to be with. Thinking back on things, I'm just like, man, I can't even imagine if I was married to that person. You know, not not even that they, they're bad people, but just for my needs. I don't feel like they would be able to fulfill those needs. When you really listen to God and you you follow his instructions, I feel like he, he brings the right person in your life and he brings that, that balance that you really need and that's what I need, the person who really balances me out. When we got married, it was just, it made sense. You know, it was scary. It still is right now, but it, it made sense. And so I guess my thing is knowing that it's possible for God to send you your husband, but you have to remain faithful with him and you can't rush him. You can't say, God, I want a man, but I want a man this particular day at this particular time he got to be this particular way and you know if he doesn't come in this way then that's it and that's the only way i feel this these are my opinions but that's the only way i feel that the right person really comes into your life because we get in situations that we want to blame god we want to blame him for the decisions that we made and it's like nah player that's on you it has nothing to do with god i'm a believer so yeah when i didn't put so much energy and focus there 
I feel like that's when things made sense. And even though it wasn't making sense for me, I still trusted God. I still was satisfied. Like, God, I'm satisfied with, with whatever. The package that I originally wanted was not the package that I actually got. And I'm happy and I'm satisfied. Like, I'm, I'm like, thank you. Sometimes we get caught up in wanting things so bad that we settle and we just go for things and we end up unhappy. We end up miserable. And we're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this. And you know, now I have to go through this and go through that. And no matter what happens, I'm just like, Lord, I'm satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> That's my story on how God gave me my husband. I feel like when I have these chit chats, I be like all over the place. So I hope that made some sense, but I just want you to stay encouraged and know that you're not alone, okay? Like I went through it and I would just encourage you to take some time. And if you feel led, write out your king will come. And maybe I'll start a thing with that. I'll start a series of the your king will come because it's it's true it's real because he will and you have to believe it and i'm not saying no law of attraction or just think that it's gonna happen like no you have to put in the work too like you can't just be like oh yeah my king gonna come but i'm just gonna stay the same like no you have to be preparing yourself for when your king does come that you'll be ready so Leave a comment down below with something that you want to just share or however you're feeling. Also, don't forget to like this video if you love it and subscribe because you just need to join this family so you don't miss these videos like this. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Ever since the day I seen you, I needed you by my side. It's gonna be me and you. Until the end of this ride The times are moving so fast Every moment with you will last The longer that we're together